Hey, welcome back to Aaron's 1972.510. Today, we're going to finish this inner patch panel right here that keeps ro road dirt and debris out of the rocker panels, as well as sand the trunk down, get it ready to go, clean it up, prime it, and then do a few things around the car, such as put this beautiful tarp on it. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, before I forget, we're also going to be doing seam sealer and spraying undercoating on the entirety of the underside of the car. There's no paid advertisement here, but if Home Depot wants to get a hold of me, I will gladly do a paid advertisement. That being said, my vacuum cleaner that I had uh, finally gave up the ghost and so it was time to replace it and this was the one that I found at Home Depot that I liked and so I bought it. It is amazing how much nasty crap, uh, specifically the little spray offs of metal flakes that come off the car whenever you are grinding and welding and cutting a ton. So once I get that done I go ahead and spray down the entire underside of the car with brake cleaner uh, this gets off a lot of the nasty crap on the car. Go ahead and make for sure that all the panels are really close together so then I can go ahead and stitch weld a little bit more of the back panel here before I go ahead and seam seal up the bottom of the car. Once I get that seam sealed, I actually realized that I needed to make a piece here to cover the inside to keep road and dirt out, or road debris and dirt out of the um, rocker panel. So you see me cutting out a cardboard template there to make this new piece. I didn't stress this too hard. I got a piece smaller than I needed and cut it into shape and then smashed it back into where it needed to go. This metal that I'm using right here is actually additional metal that I had left over from the Floorboard. It was either the rear floorboard or the front floorboard. I made a couple relief cuts and then bent the piece to have a nice ear that would attach to the inner sill of the car. All right, it's not a pretty patch panel, uh, but all of it's there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tack weld in this line here, and then I'm going to use a hammer and a punch and sort of tap these out uh, to the um, inner rocker. Uh, this is just to keep debris from getting into the inner rocker, so I just need to tack it into place a couple different spots, and then I will seam seal around the edges so that way uh, moisture and everything else doesn't get into it. So again, it's just mainly a um, like a, a dirt barrier inside and you have to sort of bring it in because you don't want to be able to get to one of these uh, holes back here so you can put the chrome trim pre piece along the, the um, rocker panel but uh, this will give me a good spot to sort of tack weld here tack weld here and sort of bend it back where it's flush do a couple tack welds and then seam seal it uh, so that way um, it's all good there so we'll go ahead and um, move the welder over and start doing this Okay, so as you see, it's not pretty, but I'll try to not cover up the microphone here. As you see, it's not super pretty, but it is attached to both of the different pieces. Again, mainly just needs to be a guard against crap. So now that that's in place and won't go anywhere, I will then seam seal around, just glop it on, so that way I can't um, or dirt and stuff won't get inside. So um, that's done. It's in place. I'm not going to weld it all the way around, but <sighs> keep moving forward. As you see, there's a nice hole here as well. Uh, I'm not going to, again, uh, that kind of stuff is, I, it's, it's literally welded all the way to right here. I'll, I'll seal that up and go from there. 
Now that I've got the rest of that done, I go ahead and hit the underside of the car with some self-etching primer. Uh, this is just to get a nice seal and uh, coating to the metal before I go ahead and spray with undercoating. I realize that I also need to do that with the rails for the seats, so I go ahead and do that here as well. Now we're going to do some seam sealing on the bottom of the car. Now I'm going to apply some undercoating uh, to the underside of my car. So, yay. After shaking the can vigorously, I just spray it on like it's any other kind of spray paint. And I try to do a reasonable job here of cleaning that off. Once I do that, I've already seam sealed the passenger side of the car. And so I realized that I seam sealed the new panels here on the passenger side of the car and then I'll actually go and tape off and clean up and spray the uh, driver side of the car with undercoating as well. Fun fact, that piece of metal is terrible in its spot. I can't get to anything underneath my workbench. I can't even get to my workbench. I did not set up my room very well for this as I was working on this car. I really should have moved it right to the middle of the garage and just kicked Danielle's cars out of the garage the entire time. She just walked into the room where I'm doing this voiceover and she did not look happy when I said that. She thinks that her Figaro should go in the garage. If you think her Figaro should go in the garage, go ahead and leave me a comment below and then delete it because I don't care because it's my garage and I'll put whatever I want in it. And it happens to be that I also want to put Danielle's Figaro in my garage. It's not because she's coaxing me at all. Once I get done with that portion, I go ahead and start cleaning out the trunk. I clean out the trunk because I'm going to actually lay down a coat of primer on it. This is a spot where I made a mistake with the car. I was supposed to use self-etching primer before laying down the 2K filler primer. But I instead just laid the, the primer down right on top. Uh, it's not the best thing to do. Um, I talked to one of my painter buddies and he let me know that I did that wrong. So, whoops. Uh, but it, the damage was already done. So, it is what it is. Can't, can't fix stupid sometimes. And by stupid, I mean me. Go ahead and get it all masked off. Once I get it all masked off, and I go ahead and wipe down the trunk one more time. All right, I've had this primer sitting around for like a year, two, two years, let's be honest. It's been like two years almost. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spray some in the trunk just to get some little bit of practice um, and mixing it up and then like working with the paint gun again. I've already set up the air compressor and um, to only put out about 40 pounds of pressure. Uh, and my garage is now a giant mess because I had to get this stuff out of the upper uh, section. So but we'll try this and see what it looks like. Uh, it's the trunk, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just good to get a little bit of practice in. So that's what we'll work on. GoPro stop recording. It took a healthy amount of stirring to get this primer mixed up. Now make for sure to always shake the cans around as best you can. If you've got someone who's got access to a paint shaker, maybe go see them before you start painting. Um, but just slowly and steadily, I went ahead and stirred the primer and then I poured some into the gun, or excuse me, to the mixing container, 
and then I poured in the hardening chemical or the, the activator chemical. Once I did that, I went ahead and started spraying the trunk. I probably sprayed about, I don't know, four coats over the trunk of this car, just poured it on nice and thick. I, I, I just mixed up way too much. I thought I was gonna need more of it. I probably could have had half the amount and been just as fine. So congratulations. You are watching a video of me painting. Therefore, you are watching a video of paint drying. You can see at the bottom of the screen that paint's drying. Pretty cool, huh? All right, uh, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.